Antarctica straight ahead, Captain. Everyone, prepare for ice landing in three, two, one. Everyone ready to get started? I am, Captain. I can't wait to see what creatures live up here on the ice. Quasi, you and Peso will help Shellington watch the ice for creatures. <sighs> You'd have to have coconuts for brains to live here in Antarctica. Can anyone see any creatures out there? Not yet. It's all just white, white, white... And red! Shiver me whiskers! There's something red straight ahead! <gasps> Jumping jellyfish! It looks like a waterfall made out of ice. But why is the ice red? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Fire up the ice spy. The ice spy will show us what's under the ice. Ah, vast. There's a lake down there. That must be where the red ice is coming from. The ice is very thick. Oh, the lake must have been sealed under it for millions of years. Who knows what creatures might live down there? Let's take a look. Peso, detach Octo Sled and activate Ice Drill. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we go. Captain, the ice is too thick. The drill can't take it. We're not giving up yet. Send more heat to the drill. OK, Captain. Almost there. Captain, the drill is broken. Aye, but we reached the lake. The drill will have to wait. Shellington, are you ready to head outside and... Oh. <laughs> That's the spirit, matey. Hurry, I can't wait to see what's down there. Oh! Take it slowly, Shellington. One careless move out here and we could be in trouble. Yeah! Oh, secret lake, here I come! Amazing. No one has ever seen this place before. Have you any idea why the water's red, Shellington? Hmm. The water contains tiny bits of rusty iron. That's why it's so red. There's rust in the water. Careful! It would be easy to get lost down here. Octonauts, stay close. Ah, the water is also very salty. And cold. And dark. Ah, I don't think any creatures could survive down here. Sorry, Shellington. We'd better get back to the Gup S. Ah, I might as well take a water sample first. Cheer up, Shellington. We did find this amazing red waterfall. And we learned what makes it red. And we're all ship-shape and toasty warm again. Ah, uh, I suppose so. But I would have loved to have found a creature down there, even just one. It's been a long day. We'll rest here before we head home. Ah, but it's still light outside. Remember, in Antarctica, it doesn't get dark at this time of year. Not even at night. Oh. <sighs> How am I supposed to sleep if it's not dark? Aha! Hello? Huh? Oh. Hello? <gasps> but I must be hearing things. Maybe I need some sleep. Hello? Over here! Huh? <gasps> Jumping jellyfish! No, not jellyfish. Microbe. Name's Mervyn. I'm a teeny tiny microbe. I'm so small, you can't see me with just your eyes. <laughs> nice to meet you. But where did you come from? From the Red Lake, under the ice, of course. That's my home. Uh, I didn't think anything could live down there. It's so cold and dark. Oh, but it's just right for me. I don't mind that it's cold and dark at all. What about you? Is this where you live? Uh, no, this is the Gup S. My name is Shellington. I'm an octonaut. An octo-what? <laughs> oh, I want to hear all about it, but oh dear. Mervyn, what's wrong? It's just a little bit warm and bright up here. I think you'd better take me back down to the lake. Already? 
But I haven't introduced you to the others. Oh, hurry, Shellington. <laughs> I'm boiling hot in here. Oh, uh, don't worry, Mervyn. I'll get you home. Uh, this ice hole feels smaller than last time. Keep going. I'm feeling cooler already. Uh, <laughs> Oh, that's more like it. Oh, thank you, Shellington. Come on, there's so much I want to show you. Well, uh, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have a quick look around. Great! <laughs> Follow me. Oh, you have to meet the others. Others? A little further. A little further. Chomping jellyfish. Shellington, meet the other microbes. There's so many of you. But how do you find enough food down here? Oh, we don't need food. We get all the energy we need from the rust in the water. Yeah, we eat rust, man. Oh, that's Jeb. This is Shirley. Oh, and say hi to Alice. Hi, Manny. Oh, hello. Pleased to meet you. I can't wait to tell the others about you. <laughs> uh, oh, if I can find my way back out of here. Was the ice hole this way? Or was it that way? Oh, that's not good. Uh, Mayday! Mayday! Shellington to Guppes! Come in, please! Huh? Huh? Mayday! Come in! Shellington to Guppes! Uh, what was Come that? Come in, please! Where am I? Captain Barnacles, do you read me? Shellington, where are you? Captain, I'm in the lake. Tiny creatures. Captain, help! Yeah! Oh. Quasi and Peso to the ice hole! Octonauts, Shellington is stranded down in the ice lake. We have to rescue him. The temperature is dropping fast. If the hole freezes over, there'll be no way to get him out. Then there's no time to lose. Quasi, you're with me. Peso, you stay here and keep your eye on the ice hole. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> oh, this is taking forever, Captain. I think I know a faster way down. Agreed. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> no sign of him, Captain. Shellington! Shellington! Captain Barnacles! Did you hear that? Nah. It's just the cold playing tricks with your mind. There it is again. What was it Shellington said? Something about tiny creatures. Follow those voices. Shellington? Oh, dear. Shellington! Shellington! Captain! Quasi! How did you find me? We showed them the way. That's Mervyn. He lives down here with all his microbe friends. The cold, dark water doesn't bother them at all. Hello. Hey. I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. Captain, come in. The ice hole is closing fast. Hurry. Quasi, Shellington, we'd better get out of here. Already? This is the most excitement we've had down here in like a million years. Maybe two. Thanks for your help, Mervyn. Don't worry, we'll come back and visit sometime. Bye. 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 Thank you. Now let's eat some more rust, man. Quick, before the hole freezes over completely. <laughs> Peso, lower the rescue line. Right, Peso, pull us up. Hold on tight. Flappity flipper! Peso, hit the brakes! Brake! 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 Oh. Nice driving, Peso. Thank you, Captain. I still can't believe you found actual living creatures down there, Shellington. How many microbes do you think were down there? Oh, well, let's see. Carry the two, multiply by five, about 10,003,062. Oh, no, wait, I forgot about that big one, the squiggly tail. 
Look at this video coming in from Dashi. She's in a kelp forest, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of kelp. Makes me hungry for a big bowl of me grandfather's pirate stew. Huh? Kelp is the main ingredient. Oh, 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 oh. Is everything all right out there? The currents here are getting stronger, Captain, so the water's getting rougher. Then you and Dashy should head back to the octopod. Yes, Captain. I'll just investigate one more piece of kelp and look for baby snails before we go. And I'll just take one more video. All right, boys. Someone's heading in our direction. You know what to do. Right, Dad. Ready, steady, blend. That's great. Kelp leaves have such beautiful shapes. Well done, boys. You blended in perfectly. No, oh, it was nothing, really. Just doing what you taught us to do. A leafy sea dragon never swims away from danger. No, certainly not. In fact, we can't swim at all. So what do we leafy sea dragons do better than anyone else? Blend in. And that's how we stay safe. Oh. The water's getting a bit rough, Dad. Ah, oh, but the rougher the water, the calmer the leafy sea dragon. These currents are so strong, they're breaking off pieces of kelp. The gum is getting covered with it. We'd better hurry. Steady, boys. Remember, a leafy sea dragon never gives up. Dad! Oh, no! Come back! Dad! Remember, when the going gets tough, the leafy sea dragon just uh, goes with it. Uh... Dad! Just keep calm and blend in! <laughs> well done, you're blending in perfectly, boys. But, Dad, what about you? Don't worry about me, I'll be just fine! Back to the octopod. Remember, keep calm uh, and blend in. <laughs> Looks like you dragged home the whole kelp forest. I need a picture of this before we clean it up. Tweak, say seaweed. Seaweed? <laughs> Where are we? I don't know. Clean up time. Can anyone put this kelp to good use? Well, Cap, I could use some of it to make kelp grease. Nothing cleans an engine faster. <gasps> Lean to the side. I'll take some to study in the lab. The other side! I'll put some of it in the sick bay tank so my patients will feel more at home. And I've got the best use of all for this mess of kelp mateys. Pirate stew! We've been captured by a pirate. <laughs> Ahoy, mateys! I'm about to cook up some pirate stew! <laughs> now, watch and learn how to cook like a pirate! <laughs> Duck! Chop! a bit of kelp back with us, Professor. Ah. Hmm. I think you may have brought something other than kelp back as well. Dashie, can you zoom in? Zooming in, Professor. <gasps> Leafy sea dragons. I completely missed them. Leafy sea dragons are easy to miss. They're small and they're experts at camouflage. If they were stuck to the gut, then they must be in the octopod. But where? We'll search for them right away. And since these little leafy sea dragons look exactly like kelp... We'll need these octagoggles set to camouflage mode. We'll be able to see any living creature, even if it blends in perfectly with its surroundings. Shellington, you check the lab. Dashie, you take the sickbay. 
Tweak and I will search the launch bay. Octonauts, let's do this. Did you see them? Nothing but plain old kelp in here. Hmm, no sign of them here. The leafy sea dragons aren't here either. Let's see, who else took some of that kelp? <gasps> Quasi! Quasi! Stop that stew! Quasi! To the kitchen! Jump! Say, Captain? Stop that stew! Those are leafy sea dragons, not kelp. What? Where? In your paw. Shiver me whiskers. Do your worst, pirate. But, but don't hurt us. I'm not gonna hurt you, mateys. I thought you were kelp. But you're a pirate. I'm also an octonaut. And octonauts help little critters like you. I think you'd just like to go back home. Yes, but we need to find her a dad first. A strong current of water carried him away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to help these leafy sea dragons find their dad now. Where did you last see him? Where we live, at the edge of the kelp forest. We were caught in a current of water going towards your ship. And Dad was caught in a current of water going in a different direction. This is the current that the Gup E followed back to the octopod. So the Dad must be trapped in this one, and it's taking him out to the open sea. A leafy sea dragon can't survive out there. There's no place to hide. Captain, we've got to go after him, and fast. Quasi, Peso, Leafy Sea Dragons, into the guppe! A Leafy Sea Dragon can be tough to spot, so remember, set your Octo Goggles to camouflage mode. I hope we're not too late to find Dad. Kelp? Kelp? More kelp? Ah, there's no sign of him anywhere. Wait, that piece of kelp looks like... Dad! Oh, no! He's getting away from us! Don't worry. We'll swim out and... Was he? Oh, get him, Captain! Boys, oh, we've all had quite an adventure. Now you can all get a little rest. <laughs> and some food. We're hungry, Dad. All right, boys, let's show these octonauts how we sea dragons eat. You see, we carefully sip sea water and find tiny bits of food in it. One, two, three, sip! Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Better than pirates do. <laughs> yeah, sure is. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> 
Attention creatures, the ocean current is extra strong today, so please be careful and find a safe place to go. Do you need some help getting to safety? No, I food in. Should be there by Thursday. Here, let me help you. Oh, I'm early. Thanks, Octonauts. Ahoy, friend! Did you hear the warning? <laughs> Can't understand you, matey. Why are you talking like that? All I heard was yaddy daddy baddy bay. Can you speak a bit slower, please? I said I'm Jimmy the Jarfish, and I'm going home to my burrow, which is right there, and my mouth is full of eggs! Oh, I dropped my eggs! That's Jerry. And Jojo. Oh, and little Janie. Look just like a mother. Go. Here, get this one. Last one. The current! Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. The current swept his eggs away. Don't worry, we'll find your eggs. Every last one of them. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, the current has carried away ten of the jawfish's eggs. Our mission is to find them and return them to their father's mouth. Mouth? Why would anybody keep eggs in their mouth? Jawfish dads are mouth brooders, Tweak, which means that they protect their eggs by keeping them in their mouths until they hatch. See? The ocean can be a very dangerous place for a tiny egg. There are a lot of fish who might like to eat them. Then we'll have to find the eggs right away. Dashi, can you track the path of the current? Activating current tracker. The current has traveled along these cliffs, over these geysers, and through this rocky trench. Then that's where we'll find the eggs. Here's the plan. Shellington, you stay with the jawfish at his burrow. Yes, Captain. Dashi, you stay here and keep track of the current. Quasi, Peso and I will split up and search for the eggs. Hey, I can blow, I can blow. Yes, Tunip, you can help look for the eggs too. <laughs> Tweak, those eggs are small and delicate. We'll need... Something to collect them in? I've got just the thing, Cap. Egg vacs! These will suck the eggs right up and keep them safe until you get them back to the jawfish. I also changed your air tanks into special booster packs. Just press this button and you'll get a boost of speed to help you swim against the current. Good work. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Peso, you search along the cliffs. Got it. And Quasi, you search by the geezers. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll search the rocky trench. Octonauts, let's do this. Hmm. These are the cliffs. And that is an egg. There you are, nice and safe. Oh, a cute egg. Kind of looks like that one. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Oh, that was easy. Any others around? There's one. <laughs> that manta ray is eating everything in sight. Activating booster pack. Easy peso. Keepers down. Lead with the beak. Got it! Sorry, Manta Ray. You'll have to snack on something else. That's not very nice. Let's get you back to your dad. You found an egg, Tunip. Let's see. Oh, Tunip, that's a pebble. Keep trying. <laughs> Here you go. Three eggs, safe and sound. I think he said that's Joseph, Josephine and Judith. <laughs> Captain, three eggs have been returned safely to the jawfish's mouth. Well done. Thanks, Shellington. One, two, three, seven more to go. Captain, I've reached the geezers. Whoa! Hello, mateys. Captain, I've 
rescued two eggs. Good work, Quasi. And I'm about to snag a third. Say, ah. Uh, uh. Tunip, did you find one this time? Oh, no, that's a seashell. Uh. Captain, we found three more eggs. And I found two. That's eight altogether. I'll keep searching for the other two, but the current has loosened up the rocks. Whoa, so it might get tricky. Almost close, whoa. Nearly, whoa. Bingo. Time to take you home. Three more eggs, safe and sound. Oh, uh -huh. Nine down, still one to go. It's Jimmy Junior, named after his father. A brave little egg with a sense of adventure. He's out there somewhere. Dashy, come in. Yes, Captain. We've searched the cliffs, the geezers, and the trench, but there's still one egg missing. His name is Jimmy Junior. The last egg could still be caught up in the current, which has moved past the rocky trench and is heading into open water. Thanks, Dashy. Quasi, Peso, if we don't find that egg soon, it could be lost for good. Let's move. Jimmy Junior, up ahead. Activate egg vax. Too strong for the egg vax. We'll have to do this the old fashioned way. Hold this. <laughs> Whoa, slippery. Get it. I got it. Now I've got you. Ah! Lemon sharks. I can handle this one, Captain. <laughs> Careful, Quasi. You can't let them notice you. Swim under the sharks as quietly as possible. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, that looks like a nice snack, man. Hey, sir, take Jimmy Jr. <laughs> Snack time, man. Yeah, enjoy. Quasi, what did you do? Don't worry, Jimmy Junior is safe and sound. Phew. Hey, it's empty. Let's get them. See you later, Shockies. We proudly return with the one and only. Jimmy Junior! Oh, oh no! Oh, I, I, I had him in my paw. He, he must have slipped out somewhere. I, I... That's seaweed. That's a clam. That's an egg. That's an egg! Junip, you found Jimmy Junior! Who's Ah, we found all ten. Great job, Octo. Shellington, what did he say? He said, my eggs are hatching. Hooray! Oh, wow, look! Yeah. You're a little daredevil, aren't you? Thanks, Jimmy Junior. A chip off the old block. Wow, oh, look at my baby. I love every single one of you. Oh, we're going to need a bigger home. Uh, what is he doing? I think he said he's digging out his burrow with his mouth. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. <laughs> Here we are, the 
the lava tubes. Great, let's get started. Uh, I don't see any lava. That's because it's all underground. The hot lava flows under the seabed. When it dries, it makes caves like these. They're called lava tubes. Inside, it can get very hot. How hot? That's what we're going to find out. Shellington. We'll use these special thermometers to see how hot they are. But going inside a lava tube can be dangerous. So we'll check from the outside, like this. Oh, this one's very, very hot. Fascinating. I've used a thermometer lots of times to take sick creatures' temperatures. This shouldn't be too hard. Just be careful, everyone, and watch out for loose boulders and steam vents. Steady, steady. This would be a lot easier if I were bigger and faster. Hey, buddy, you all right? Um, who said that? I did, down here. Uh, uh, ooh. The name's Frank. What's uh, yours? Um, Peso? Peso? We heard you shout. Is everything all right? I, I'm fine, but I found a rock, and its name is Frank. I think the heat might be getting to him, Captain. Hiya, fellas. I'm Frank. Oh, but how? Aha! Fascinating. Well, what do you see? Frank isn't a rock. He's a water bear. How you doing? Water bears are tiny creatures that live all over the world. That's right. Oceans, forests, snowy mountains. We live everywhere. My Uncle Gary even went into outer space. But you're so small. We may be small, but we're tough. You gotta be tough to live around here. With all the lava tubes and big rocks and sleep back. Frank! The lava tube. Huh? Yeah. Time to sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, a teeny tiny water bear has fallen into a hot lava tube and we've got to get him out. Captain, exploring lava tubes is extremely dangerous. You never know when one might suddenly erupt. Then we'll need some way to look inside and see what we're dealing with. Dashie? Already on it, Captain. This rover cam will show us the inside of the lava tube. Looks hot. I just hope Frank is all right in there. Dashy, over there. It's Frank's rock. Can you pick it up, Dashy? I'll try. Easy, easy. The heat must be damaging the rover cam, but I almost have it. Oh. Oh, no. It's too hot in there. Then we'll just have to go in and find Frank ourselves. You can't just swim into a lava tube. It's as hot as an oven in there. That's why I brought these. These proof diving suits. These will protect you from the heat, and the octo goggles will help you see Frank. If we follow the rover cam's cable, it should lead us to Frank's rock. Oh. That doesn't sound good. Captain, there's a lot of unusual lava movement beneath the cave. It could erupt at any moment. You better find Frank quickly. Oh, uh oh, get down! Oh, I thought the whole cave was gonna collapse. I can't see. Look, the rover cat is right here in front of us. Uh, Wazi. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. 
These Octo goggles really do make things look bigger. Look, there's Frank's rock. Frank! He's not there. Oh, no. Hey, so, buddy! Over here! Frank, are you all right? We're here to... ...rescue you. Hey, it's pretty great down here, ain't it? I met a lot of nice folks. There's Joe. Hi there. And Eddie. How you doing? And LaFord. Hello. And, and that's old Pops. Oh, uh, howdy. You mean water bears can actually live down here? We sure yep. can. <laughs> no. But don't you little mateys get hot? I told you we was tough. A little heat don't bother us. Captain, the lava tube is about to erupt. We're on our way out, Dashie. You water bears should come with us. No, we're good. We don't mind the heat. Yeah, we like it hot. Harder the better. Oh, we're happy where we are. But the whole cave is about to fill up with lava. No problem. We'll be just fine. Hold on, did you say lava? Oh. Run for your lives! Oh. <laughs> Our little legs don't go so fast. Here. Hop on. Don't mind if I do. I'll follow the fence. Now that's a bit. Oh, nice day out. Is it just me, or is it getting hotter in here? Yeah. Lava. We have to hurry. <laughs> this would be a lot easier if I were bigger and faster. Come on, hey, so. My Uncle Gary always says it doesn't matter how big or fast you are, you just gotta be tough. How can you be sleepy at a time like this? When water bears get really hot, we go to sleep until it's safe to wake up. You see what I mean? Just a little bit further. Look out! <laughs> Whoa! Everybody okay? I think so. Water bears? <laughs> yeah, uh, we're good. Are you okay? Never better. Break me when it cools down. Good. Now let's move. Wait, where's Frank? Uh, he was just here. Yo, Frankie! Frank, where are you? He must have fallen off. He's not here. But that means he's somewhere back there. On the other side of those rocks? We can't leave him behind. Don't worry, Peso. We'll find a way to get through that rock pile. But we'll have to hurry. Allow me, Captain. Your turn. <laughs> See the other side. <laughs> One of you will have to swim through. That tunnel's too small for me. But it's just the right size for me. <laughs> it's all up to you, Peso. I'm coming for you, Frank. <sighs> Frank, where are you? He could be anywhere. Frank, is that you? Frank! Oh, thank goodness! Flappity flippers! Peso, hurry! Oh, are we going for a ride? Gotcha, Maisie! Uh, let's go! Octonauts, keep going! Nice one. Hey, we're outside. What did I miss? Everybody made it out of the lava tube safe and sound. You said it, and it's all thanks to Peso. Peso, way to go! I know you had it in you, buddy. I may not be the biggest or the fastest, but I'm still tough. He sure is. You're me. even tougher than my uncle. Yeah, the toughest penguin I ever saw. And somebody.